Looking for the jeans, I'm trippin' Wanna see and see my whip, yeah All I had to do was listen Kinda got a bitch, I lit On my shot, we lit Whole lot of bad little bitches Whole lot of bad What's up guys, it's your boy LA Crypto Back at it again with another tutorial This one right here is a complete beginner's guide to yield farming Also known as staking aka providing liquidity for liquidity pools First things first, familiar yourself with PancakeSwap, okay? So, Alright, everything runs for PancakeSwap so familiarize with this because everything is going to look similar to this You know, you're going to get something like Marshmallow Look, you can barely even tell that I switched from marshmallow to pancake. So, as soon as you get used to figuring out how we're doing everything, everything will be a breeze. Some of the platforms might look a little bit different, like here in Neon, where we have stuff at the top. But it's essentially the exact same thing. So, first things first, this is the native token of this platform, which is Cake. If you were on Marshmallow DeFi, it would be Mash. If you were on Neonic, it would be Neon. So, pancake swap. Cake, this is what we want, so we need to get cake. So let's come over to the trade exchange. Okay, guys, so here in the exchange, first things first, we're going to want to go ahead and connect our MetaMask wallet up to the top right. If you don't know what the MetaMask wallet is, it's actually the extension that we're using to interact with all these dApps. My tutorial will be linked down at the bottom as well as up here on the top right. Feel free to pause this video, take five minutes to go ahead and set up your MetaMask. Come on back. Upon that, you're also going to need BNB. So if you don't have BNB, I also have a tutorial for that. Link will be down at the bottom as well as on the top right. So go ahead and run through both those videos. Come on back and then we can continue. So here on the exchange, what I said we needed was going to be cake. So whatever's here at the top, it's going to turn into whatever's at the bottom. So I have my BNB here and we're going to be looking for cake. Down here at the bottom, it's going to be showing what you already have in your wallet as well as everything alphabetically. So you'd be able to get Alpha, Bake, um, I know there's Belt, uh, Berry, as well as BTCB and Bunny. But for this tutorial, we're going to be using Cake. So let's go ahead and click on Cake. This is where you're going to input your amount. So depending on how much BNB you have, it's going to be depending on what you place in here. For this tutorial, I'll actually be putting 0.4. So I'll be getting the... Actually, you know what? I'll be putting 0.43. Let's just get a little more. And down here, you'll actually put most likely see an approve. So you're going to have to click approve. Your MetaMask will drop down. It'll ask you if you wanted to approve that. You're going to say yes. After you approve that, you'll be able to swap. So we'll go ahead and click swap. We'll confirm the swap here. In which our MetaMask drops again once more and it'll confirm everything that we're trying to purchase. We're going to click yes and we're going to go ahead and close out. This will take about a minute or so and then uh, once it confirms we'll move on. For this tutorial I'll be uh, staking some cake down here in the regular section um, as well as staking some of the cake here in one of the auto farms which is similar to auto farm here or what everyone likes to use, which is Bunny. So down here at Bunny, we'd be able to stake our cake as well, and it'll have an auto compounding feature that'll auto compound as it goes, so we won't actually have to. If you wanna know what that means, here at regular staking, we have a compound button, which will take whatever cake that we have earned, and it'll immediately put it into what we have staked right here. If we pull harvest, that basically takes the cake that we earned and places it straight into our MetaMask. So essentially that's harvesting, is pulling it into it here and compound will be throwing it back into your stake. So for this tutorial, I'll be doing both. Let's go ahead and you'll be approving cake for the very first time. It'll be right here. It'll say approve, you will approve cake. Upon doing so, MetaMask will come down here and tell you, you, you know, do you want to confirm? You will confirm. For me, I will reject as I don't want to use this. And after doing so, you will wait about a minute or so, and then this will be blank, and you'll see this plus sign. After seeing the plus sign, go ahead and press on the plus sign, and it will allow you to deposit how many cake tokens. So for this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to deposit uh, 2.6. So let's go ahead and confirm that. 
Once again, Metamask comes down and asks to confirm. We're going to confirm. Okay, and after about a minute or two, it go, it go ahead and confirm. So, um, if it takes a while for you guys, sometimes it takes a while, but for me, we go ahead and confirmed, and it says we have three cake here in our stake. So, like I said, I'm gonna take the rest of the cake, <clears throat> and then I'm gonna show you how to stake that in another thing. So we're gonna take that straight to Bunny, and and Bunny, this is what you're gonna see. It's gonna be the farm. So we're gonna go ahead and go straight down, straight to where we see cake. I'm gonna click on cake, and we're gonna come right here down. It might have a approve button just like you saw last time so what you would have to do is you would have to approve um, this one doesn't so we'll be fine so i'm going to go ahead and click max on this cake and then i'm going to go ahead and deposit once again metamask is going to pop up <clears throat> it's going to ask um basically uh or not ask <laughs> it's going to tell us what our fees are and so we're going to go ahead and confirm okay and as you guys can see, it went ahead and confirmed. And, and here you can see that we have a balance of cake, 6.8. And it's going to be telling us that there's a 0.5% fee for withdrawals if we pull out before three days. Most of the time when you're staking, you're going to let it sit for a, at least a week or so, depending on the project. But <clears throat> for cake, a lot of us, we just let it sit and we just let it compound. So with that being said, let's go ahead and look at some of the numbers. The APY is going to be what the percentage you will be receiving over a whole year. <clears throat> and up here, it's actually going to tell you what you're going to be earning. You're going to be earning 116% worth of cake and 154% yearly of bunny. So down here, it'll tell you what the profit of cake you're getting and as well as the profit of bunny. So the more cake that you're able to stake, the higher this will go and such and so forth. So let's go ahead and go back to Pancake and... Down here, we'll be checking out all the rest. As you can see, what it says here is what we earn. So we stayed cake and I'm looking to earn more cake. However, if you wanted to earn this Sutter, uh, what is this, Baruby, uh, Alpha, let's say you were looking for, I know they have like Zilliqa, um, gum, maybe you were looking for gum or PBTC, um, you would basically find the, uh, token you're looking for let's say it would be a zilliqa and you would come down here once again you would approve cake metamask would come down here you would confirm and then upon confirming after waiting about <clears throat> a minute or so it will look exactly like the uh, cake one up here at the top this will actually be grayed out as you won't have nothing in yet and you'll have to just hit that plus button so once you hit the plus button you'll be able to add the uh, cake tokens to the um to like the zilliqa um, pool basically and um, <clears throat> the only things really to know about staking is basically price appreciation and price depreciation. So the price could be fluctuating up or down as it's inside uh, the stake, as well as um, <clears throat> since you're gaining cake, you could also be, you know, gaining more gains, essentially, even if the price slowly fluctuates down. So that's, part, that's basically the give and take that a lot of people uh, risk. So with that being said, um, staking and everything here is basically done. Um, I'll have an advanced tutorial to go over all the numbers and go over absolutely everything. But for beginner's sake, this is basically what we'll stop on staking. I'm going to go ahead and with the power of video editing, come back to when I'll be unstaking so you can see that process. And uh, we'll be doing that in a bit. Okay, guys. So it's been about three days. And we're going to go ahead and go over harvesting and unstaking. So first things first, let's make sure uh, we check in our MetaMask and ensure that we have at least 0 0.01 BNB. That way we can ensure we can pay for the transaction fees and we'll be able to go ahead and harvest and compound or unstake as necessary. So now that we have ensured that we have enough on the MetaMask, Let's go ahead and discuss uh, token appreciation, as I was discussing a little bit earlier. As you guys noticed, it was 20 um, for the cake. Now it's 27. So, you know, that's, that's pretty awesome. So as you're staking, the price went up. If you're also receiving uh, dividends or cake as, you know, when you're harvesting, that's also free um, gains as well. So, 
you know, all this is pluses. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started and let's move on with Bunny. So here at Bunny, you can see your farm is directly here at the top. We're going to go ahead and click in and we're going to see here down the towards the middle this was our profit so we were able to profit about 0 0.039 cake and 0 0.0038 bunny which uh, equivalents to about two to three dollars <throat> which considering the uh, transaction fees are about 20 cents each sometimes you know 30 50 cents that's you know that's pretty good that's that pays for about you know six seven transactions and like we said you know it's free money so down here at the bottom we'll notice that uh, the balance went up from 144 I believe to now 190 and that is due to price appreciation so you know that's great here up at the top where we had the 0.5% fee for withdrawals the timer is actually over so we can go ahead and withdraw so if you wanted to leave your cake here let's say you had about you know six sixty cake and you know you wanted to claim the profits you would simply hit claim that would bring up your MetaMask and you would pay for the <clears throat> transaction, you would confirm, and then that will pull or you would harvest exactly what you see here. So this would be harvested right into your MetaMask and um, that's how you would do that. For this tutorial, I'm actually going to withdraw everything which is unstaking as well as claiming. So we can do that here at the withdraw button. You'll see there's a deposit and a withdraw. So we'll go ahead and click withdraw. And down here at the bottom now we have a withdraw. So we have a withdraw and we have a claim and withdraw. Honestly, if you click withdraw, it's going to unclaim this as it is. So kind of don't really see the uh, point, but we're going to go ahead and click exit claim and withdraw just to be sure. And that is going to withdraw what we have um, basically deposited as well as what we have profited. So we'll be able to ensure that by checking on Bunny, I believe. And this should be a uh, 6.9 cake. So we'll check that in a bit. Okay, everything confirmed. So now we're going to check up on MetaMask. And yeah, let's go down here. 6.9 cake. So yeah, it's confirmed. And 0 0.003 bunny is also here. So we were able to go, we were able to uh, withdraw all that. And we'll move on to the next one, which I believe was Pancake Swap. So full disclosure here. <clears throat> I actually uh, had withdrew uh, a few days early. I needed to move some funds around and I needed to use the cake, which I believe was about two or three cake I had here. Um, so I pulled it. However, I'm still going to show you how to unstake or harvest. So once again, the cake that you have earned here, you would harvest, which would be pulling this cake into your MetaMask by clicking harvest here. Upon clicking harvest, you would confirm that that's what you want to do. And then it would go whatever it is here would go straight to your MetaMask and then uh, we will unstake so I will go ahead and click unstake cake and from here I will click max I'll go ahead and click confirm I will pay for the transaction fees and in about a couple seconds or so it'll confirm and I will have unstaked the cake that I had put here at the cake pool there's the confirmation and our stake is gone. Okay guys, and now that we have the cake that we <clears throat> received, we will uh, go ahead and go over on how to exchange that back into either BNB or to lock in your profits um, using a stable coin. So with that being said, we'll move over to the exchange section once again in PancakeSwap. And like I said, the coin at the top will be turning into whatever the coin is at the bottom. So what we're going to want to do is switch these around. We can go ahead and do that manually by clicking on the tokens themselves, or we can click on this little arrow. So what we'll do is we'll select currency at the top and we'll be picking the cake that we got. Okay, now uh, here's our cake right here. We're going to go ahead and click max. That will show up exactly how much our cake to the BNB would be and uh, we would go ahead and click swap we would confirm swap and our MetaMask once again will come down here and confirm it for this tutorial I'm simply just going to reject so that I can go over the other options as you won't you will be confirming upon confirming you will just be waiting for the confirmation of the MetaMask and once it confirms you will have 
the uh, BNB in your wallet. So you'll be able to see that it moved up here. If you wanted to uh, quote unquote lock in profits, so let's say you know the you believe cake is actually going down in price and you believe maybe BNB is going down in price. Well, what we can do is instead of using BNB, we can use a stable coin. And the stable coin I like to use is actually BUSD. So we can come over here to BUSD. Once again, you can go ahead and click on max and that will um, switch over to BUSD. BUSD basically stays at $1.99. So this is essentially the only way to lock in profits. So with that being said, once again, you would hit swap, confirm the swap and MetaMask will come down here. And once again, you would hit confirm for this tutorial. I'm not going to do that as I'm going to be playing around with the cake a little bit more. But um, for you guys, you guys will confirm. And once again, you guys will be waiting for the confirmation tab down here at the bottom right. And that basically just covers um, exchanging the cake or the house tokens from any of the other um, platforms that you guys, you know, want to use. And you would use that, put it up at the top and either put the stable coin at the bottom or use BNB. Or if you wanted to switch to another uh, coin, go ahead and feel free to do so. So um, that covers that. That would basically uh, conclude staking and everything that entails that. Um, <clears throat> like I said, you really want to familiarize yourself with pancake swap as everything basically is about the same. So if you were to uh, come here at pools, you know, here's your stake, you would, you know, stake cake, come down to Thunder Swap, same thing with their pools. You would approve the contract, you would take their native token, like we discussed, and you would also stake that if you went to Lime Swap. Um, same thing, you would get their native token. That's This is where you would stake. You would approve the contract, then stake. Same thing with Marshmallow DeFi. So, like I said, as soon as you familiarize yourself with PancakeSwap, you'll be completely fine. And um, with that being said, guys, staking is uh, completely done. If you guys have any questions or any comments, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. And um, <clears throat> the next section will be covering liquidity pools. So, hope you guys have a good day.